Today on the Dr. Phil Show, Dr. Phil takes on his biggest challenge yet, the Vlog Squad. Hey, 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 hey. They might seem happy on their internet videos, but when the cameras stop rolling, the insults start rolling. Yeah, I said rolling twice. That's how bad it is. Can Dr. Phil influence these influencers? This is episode 56,475 of the Dr. Phil Show. Dr. Phil McGraw, you're in my home right now. I've done about 6,000 shows in my life, but today I'm going to be doing the most important one there is. We're going to go be meeting the vlog squad today. This is a group of individuals who are highly narcissistic, like something I've never seen in all my years as a psychologist, and today they're going to get filled, Dr. Phil, when I ambush them and help them with their problems and try to turn them into decent people. It's an important job, but somebody's got to do it. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Did somebody open this? I haven't opened a door in like 40 years. I have assistance to it. There we go. Thank you. Let's go. Oh boy, look at this. This is great. Hey, how you doing, man? It's a nice place you got here. You want to double film? Sure. All right, back, double it up. I do yoga with this. Uh, you know Takashi 6 9 Yeah. Yeah, he's a new friend of mine. My wife, Robin McGraw, she's great at yoga. I miss my wife, I'll tell you that. Much. You do? I miss my wife, yeah, Robin. She's a great woman. I'll see if she recognizes the voice, I guess. Right. Hi, hi, Annalise. Nice to meet you. I see you have a cute dog there. You can open your Do you know who this is? Oh my god, it's Dr. Phil! That's right. I told you she would freak out. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to freak you out so much. I know you've probably never seen a big time celebrity like me before. Take a breath. Oh my god! Take a breath. I came here today to let you know that we, we, we want to have you on the show. We're very excited about it. Your story about you and Joe was, was wonderful. And I'm here to tell you, it's not your fault. <laughs> What he's doing to you and the way he makes you feel, the manipulation, Whoa. is absolutely unacceptable. I don't mind getting tough with you here today. The way you manipulate her, being way better looking than you, and how you make her feel because she's so good. It's not her fault. I wish my studio audience was here right now so they could back me up. You have to deal with him all the time, right? What if I did this? What if I did that? Is, it, is David mad at me? And it's just sad. He's a grown man and he should understand this is your life too. So what would you like to say to Joe right now if you wanted to make this relationship? Because Joe, I'll be honest, you're on death's door here. <laughs> You may not know it, but she's this close to joining FaZe Clan. I'll tell you something. Can I be frank? Okay, my name is Phil, but can I be frank? Great. Listen, I knew Joe would like that joke. Listen, I'm scared being around him. That's going to change today. Joe, are you ready to change? Every time I get a new package, it's supposed to be for me. She opens it because she wants to see what's inside so she could take no, some. No, everything gets in, to my, in my name because the order is on my Amazon Prime account. Not the thing that we ordered last night for my new video that you opened up. What are you hiding, Joe? Why do you order on her name? Do you, do you have a, 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 a past that we need to know about? It, it, no, it's just, it's easier to you're put it on. You're getting caught in your lies. Now, I'm glad I could help you guys out. I have to talk to, to Kasha69 in about five minutes because he checks in with me 12 times a day. And you know what, Annalise, I'll say to you about Joe, you can leave at any time. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Holy cow, that's great. Now this is very indicative of your relationship. This is Bobby getting all the attention. What about a picture of Joe and Annalise on the wall? That's what I would say to that. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. See ya. Right. Annalise, get out while you can. <laughs> Let me ask you, Joe, you know the vlog spot better than anybody. Yeah. Who do you think needs the most help? Todd. Todd. That's where we're headed next. It's funny you said that. We're gonna go see Todd right now. Oh, I don't open doors. Can you open that for me? Can you just hit that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to open a door. Okay, there we go. All right, let me get in here. <laughs> oh, I worked out this morning.
This is serious. It's a state of emergency right now where we're headed. I'm worried about Todd. I think the main problem that Todd has is he has a sort of an inferiority complex to Scott. When Scott does something good, it's almost like it tears Todd up. You know, we're gonna try to change that today. We're gonna have to sneak up on this guy. So when I get up there, let me run up there. I used to be CIA actually. A lot of people don't know that. If I start to do like a roll or a tumble or something like that, you just cover me, all right? Because this is serious. <laughs> Serious guys, Todd's in trouble. We gotta do something for him. Come on, let's go. Todd, what? Joe, today is the start of your new life. I've been brought here today because you are out of control. You've been hurting the people around you, and that you need to change. Do you know who this is, Todd? Do you have any idea? Take a guess. It's okay. Doctor Pill. That's very funny, har har. That's just exactly the kind of response I expected from an immature idiot like yourself. The name is Doctor Phil. Are you ready to change today? I asked you a question. Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil, yeah. Dr. Phil? Call me Dr. Phil one more time and I will <laughs> flatten you. <laughs> Todd, I see what's going on with you. And it's it, it, it actually brings a tear to my eye. I get sad because I see a young man here who is very, very good looking, very talented. But he's getting too caught up in what other people are doing. For example, the other night, how long have you known Scott? Since elementary school. Since elementary school, he's known Scott. This is the problem with social media where it gets really tricky. Yeah. Scott goes out to Saddle Ranch or wherever he was at, makes a couple of Instagram stories with his friends, and who gets all pissy the next day? <laughs> What? Now be honest, Todd. You were upset that Scott didn't invite you out. Is that right? I don't care less. Okay. I don't give a well, I see we're gonna have a lot of work to do today. We'll be right back on the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> hey, we're back on the Dr. Phil show. Let me ask you a question. This relationship with Natalie, are you taking it seriously? Yes. The other day, I noticed because I've been following Vlog Squad all week. This is an ambush. You're not the only one. The other day, we went. We took two cars. We went to the movies. Natalie went in David's car. And then Joe and I were in your car, and about 10 minutes into the ride, you mentioned that you were upset I was that Natalie didn't ride with you. Do you, got, do you not understand comedy, Joe? I was kidding. I guess I don't understand comedy, because I, you're, you're literally all about to cry. You're all on the verge of tears. Oh, now, you're, now you're telling lies, Dr. Phil. That's right. I'm fucking telling lies. I'm kidding. I'm fucking crying. I'm punking them. I'm fucking I'm just f***ing around. This, this is the one I'm worried about. I mean, look at him. Scott is just, uh, he's a sad guy. He uh, has everything in the world, and yet he's still sad. Doesn't like to leave his house too much. Very insecure, has a drinking problem. Dyes his hair, you know, eight times a year. You know who would dye his hair a lot? The Joker mm. from the Batman. Mm -hmm. And we all know what he did. Hey man, you've been acting different lately, and you haven't been, your, you haven't been, the, you haven't been the same. And so I figured I'd hire someone to come help us, or you. I feel like our friendship is just fading away, and you don't invite me places anymore. So. Scott, <laughs> Dr. Phil McGraw. <laughs> you need to stop commenting daddy on all of my posts. <laughs> <laughs> that was fire, right? Basically why I'm here today is because Todd, he feels like you're kind of passing away by, and you're not you know, spending as much time with him. We actually have a video of him calling you earlier today when uh, when you didn't pick up. I texted him when I didn't pick up and told him I was on the phone with my agent. So it's so it, that's about you though, right? <laughs> that is about That's me. about you. Todd's not you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're telling a story from the perspective of you and you being the person that you are, where you were born and where you're growing up and however you come here and you get here and then you land in this place where you are right now. But we're talking about Todd. So if you listen more and you open your ears up, then you might, you might take something home with you today. Listen, can we show the video of Scott? Move over, I will but The other night, Scott, you went out with some friends. You went to Saddle Ranch. Apparently you invited your best friends. I think Jay was there, maybe Jack was there. I'm not really sure who was there. And then... I didn't go to Saddle Ranch. 
wherever some bar you were at, wherever you were, because my producers, they gave me the Instagram stories. The Instagram stories went out on your Instagram, and guess who was home? Let me ask you something, Scott. How would you like it if Todd were to do the same thing to you? There's a six-person limit at tables. They have capacities I for... I didn't know that. Yeah, it looks like I'm his seventh best friend. Oh, I didn't think that. <laughs> well, this is the video. Go, give it to me. You tell me if this makes sense or not. Look, you watch it. So we're trying to get Scott on the phone. Mm, Todd's obviously. Are you okay? It's okay. You can take a minute. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh no! Cut the cameras. Cut, cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Uncle Phil's here. Doctor Phil, Uncle Phil, whatever you want to call me. Look at this. We're, we're trying to Facetime, and there we are. We're trying to Facetime, but no. It's just so sad that a friendship had to go like that. Let me turn it off. Scott, I, I don't I don't know what to say. If you don't feel something from watching that video, then you're no worse than the serial killer that I that I interviewed last week at St. Quentin. <laughs> I love you very much. Did you hear that? In here. Okay, Todd, now, ball's in your court. I don't need to you be know? invited anywhere. I'm okay on my own. But well, I love you too. I didn't know we were getting into the Well, wow, that was passive aggressive as <laughs> Todd. <laughs> You believe that? All he had to say was all hey, you too. My paw's out. No, don't, don't take it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, nerd it. Yeah, yeah nerd it. Has he ever met a celebrity before? I don't think so. Okay, so he, he's gonna be alright? Is he gonna pass out or anything? Zay? Mm -hmm. Zay, I'm here today because we need to make some changes in your life. Am I looking? Don't, don't look yet because okay. I, I, don't, I don't want you to see a celebrity and change how we're gonna work today. Because today is not about me, it's not about you. Okay. It's about the work we're gonna put in. Zane, you are somebody that's out of control. <laughs> I watched David's vlog, okay? Mm -hmm. But I have watched David's vlog. This is a man who is screaming for help. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to open your eyes and see I'm, who you're talking to? Do you know who you're talking to? I think so. Do, do you want to take a guess? Uh, Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What's so funny? What? Why is he laughing? It took me a good three full seconds <laughs> to realize that it wasn't Dr. Phil. <laughs> That's because it is my, Dr. Phil. Wow, my heart. It was like, I was like, I opened, I was like, oh. <laughs> this is insane. But I'm here to let you know that you are enough, that the real you is, so, please don't touch <laughs> Please, please don't touch my nose. I thought this was for me, for AA or something. <laughs> it is for AA. Absolutely awesome. That's what you are. <laughs> Just kidding, but you keep drinking, keep making those vlogs funny. I'm a big fan. It's good. I don't think he needs any help. Actually. Have you met my wife, Robin? Where's your is your wife here? No, she's not here. But I but I miss her. <laughs> I miss her. Child, love to meet her. I just saw her five minutes ago, but I miss her. Hey, that's one hell of a mustache. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Yours, yours looks pretty good too. Yeah, not bad. You have, you have trouble um, laughing when? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I have to like. <laughs> yeah, I like that like, like, too. <laughs> <laughs> you ever tried having soup? Huh? Ever had oh, soup, soup is the worst. Oh God, try I'm having soup with a mustache. Mustache yeah. problems. It's like having a pubes and getting strong, you know. <laughs> I am you. You're on the Dr. Phil Literally show. Scared. I'm a huge fan. So good to meet you. I'm a fan of yours, actually. I've been watching a lot of your videos. I'm a big fan of the Unfiltered podcast. Wow. We got to get a beer sometime. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would love that. And I've got I've got some tools and some ways that I think I can improve your life. But I don't want to get all preachy on you. Can huh? you come by later? Yeah, I, I can be here later. I can be here at two in the morning if I want to be. I'm autonomous and I'm everywhere and everywhere at the same time. I saw somebody at my gate and I was like, who the. F is this old dude at my gate? <laughs> and then I was like, kind of looks like Dr. Phil. <laughs> and you start getting closer, I was like, wow, it really looks like Dr. Phil. And then I realized it was the black Tesla, and I was like, holy shit, it's Jason. You look really good. They did a good job. You let us in? Yeah. Oh my god, I literally thought that was Dr. Phil. It's nice to meet you. Phil McGraw. Big fan. From the Dr. Phil show. Yes, I know here. who We're, you are. I understand you have a dance studio here and you're teaching some of the finest dancers. I do. This is Charlie. I don't know if you know her. No introduction needed. Hi. <laughs> Phil McGraw. I'm a fan of your TikTok. <laughs> what a beautiful home you have here. This Thank is you so, so much. This is so wonderful. Now, I made up a lie earlier for the reason to come into Heath's house. The real reason is not because uh, I want to stop Heath's drinking. 
There's another reason, and I'll tell you why we get inside. I lied before. I'm not here to fix you or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But the reason I did come today was uh, I need to dance. You just got to let it out? I just have to dance. Yeah, that was the whole reason. All right. Okay. Come on in. Let's come here. Up and step and ballerina back and go to the back. Push your back back here. And then when we come out, when we come out, we come out like hands. That's it. You have great instincts, Mariah. We come out like hands. You guys see what Mariah's doing there? She's really moving her shoulders with it. Let's try that again. I'm going to say, this is what happens. With good dance, you learn from each other. See that? She's rocking the body, rocking the body, rocking the body. And Mariah, let's not forget the end. What's the end? Right, hit the whoa. Turn. And a turn. There we go. Okay, should we bring it on again? Go to the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Cut. Okay, okay, okay. Rock the body, hit the wall, pirouette, and finish. We'll be back on the Dr. Phil show after this. <laughs> and I don't know if she's ever met a big time celebrity before, but. Uh... Oh my god, why am I so scared? Okay. Addison? How you doing, Dr. Phil McGraw? I'm a big fan of your TikTok. Oh my god. Is this your house? Yeah, I think we can have a meeting here. There's a couple things I wanted to talk to you about. And I'm not saying you're in trouble or anything, but you know, you've, you've been going through a lot right now. I know that you know, you've got a lot of fame, you got a lot of followers, you've got a lot of people that you know, probably want you here. But I just came here for one reason. I want to know if you can teach me to walk. That's it. <laughs> so if we can pull the couch out, and okay. spend the next hour perfecting it, then I think we'd probably have a slam dunk. Oh my yeah, um, sounds good, huh? Okay, this is where they do the vlogs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Narcissistic personality disorder, right? Here. <laughs> I thought the test would be bigger, but I'm just kidding around. <laughs> This is great. Is this where they do the podcast? We, we don't have too much time because we gotta, we gotta help this guy today. So how did you get Addison in here? That was great. <laughs> you know that when I do my show, I always have a rolled up piece of paper. <laughs> but there's so many problems, deep-seated problems in the vlog squad today. I got two. <laughs> Rap a tap tap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, we gotta go. I think this is a man that is in a cry for help right now. No matter how many cars he buys, no matter how many houses he buys, he's still going to be little Davy inside, humiliated on the playground. He used to get called Justin Bieber. He was called Justin Bieber for his hair. I mean, look at him. As, 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 as famous as he gets or as big as he gets, he's still going to be that little guy from Slovakia, you know, playing with a goat dick. <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> and that's the important thing. <laughs> well, we were just talking about you, David. We, it was amazing. This house is so beautiful, man. Thank you. Well, I get nervous when I'm around celebrities, so my stomach is not. I might have to take a dump. Would we be okay if I take a dump in here? You can use Natalie's room. If I need to take a dump, I should go to Natalie's room? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Joe said if I need to take a dump, I should use Natalie's room. Is that right? No, that's not right. No? Sorry. <laughs> what happened? Hey, hi, Ilya. Hi. My name is Dr. Oh, Taylor. my God. <laughs> I've been, I've been watching David's TikToks, and uh -huh. the jokes have got to stop. You guys have been friends for a long time, and I love the dynamic. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. But this guy is came to help you, and you treat him like a, a dirty dish rag. <laughs> That's the truth. I want you to tell Ilya how much he means to you right now. Yeah, tell me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ilya, you mean a lot to me. I know sometimes I may not show it, That's good. Um, but I really appreciate your help Wonderful. and thank you for coming out here Real nice. and, um, well, I like that. and helping me. <laughs> That's really good. I like your total voice. Thank you. Yeah, you're really connecting right now. Thank you. It's really good. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. We have a saying for that in Texas. Uh -huh. It's called being sweet. And that's what you're doing right now, and I like it. You're really sweet. Thank you. You want to make out? <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the things that I notice and then that I've been told is that you get upset sometimes when Todd takes Natalie away mm -hmm. on beautiful vacations, <laughs> and then and who's left at home alone? Me. Little David. Yeah. yeah. You probably feel like that little boy, yeah. don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just that little boy left all alone. But when you take Natalie away, Right? Todd. Todd gets upset too. Oh. Right, Todd? Uh, no. The other day when we went to see the movie, I'm going to let you in on a little scuttlebutt. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is scuttlebutt. It is hearsay and gossip, whatever you want to call it, but it's also the truth. Don't worry, I got another one of these. The other day when we went to the movies, Natalie jumped in your car, and I was in Todd's Range Rover. Sweet ride, by the way. He, what did he say? Why didn't Natalie drive in my car? See that? Todd, get a room, man. Come on, let's go. Don't be a simp. Todd, you're being too much of a simp yeah, right she's now. She's holding on to me. Huh? She's holding on to me. Oh, man, I don't blame her. You're pretty sexy. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, we got to <laughs> <laughs> Greatness takes a lot of people. That's what they always say. So, I'm only as great as the people backing me up. People will come up to me and they'll say, Dr. Phil, how do I fix this? How do I, how do I make things better? What I tell people is I say, we are as only good as the people as we keep around us. You don't need a degree in psychology to say something like that. You know, you don't need to be friends with Bruno Mars or, or anything like that, or, or, or you know, do yoga with Takashi Six Nine in the morning. To to know, it's just it's just good, plain common sense, and that's and that's really what it's all about. Of course, I also look like a model. I'm also very good looking, so that helps too. That's bad. That's real bad. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. Just like Dr. Phil got himself on to a real pickle here.